like to thank our sponsors, Affinity uh, Intercultural. Thank you for joining us today, and I hope to see you again at our future events. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Uh, this is the first time I've been invited to really do anything at uh, Affinity. <laughs> but I I've, I've appreciate their principles. I'm very attracted to the core values that this organisation has. As a former Australian diplomat, I'm, I've always been very needful and very uh, supportive of uh, tolerance between peoples and religions. And to come to Australia, who our politicians boast is the most multi-ethnic country in the world, and probably is one of them, I think we over-egg it a bit though. But still, it's very important. And it's important that we have groups like Affinity to carry on the good work and to reinforce the need for tolerance in this society. Now, I've not done another thing either before in my speaking career, which is quite, um, quite extensive, and that is to respectfully acknowledge the original people in this country. And I've not done it because I've always thought there's a degree of hypocrisy when people stand up and make the normal respectful uh, obeisance to elders past and present, because we're not going to give the land back. And yet I think it's a good thing and that's another thing I've been rethinking. So when I say that I do acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation, and the Aora Nation has a big uh, part of the basin, the, the Hawkesbury River, uh, Sydney Harbour, Botany Bay. And the Gadigal people were the people who lived in this Sydney region for 30 to 40,000 years, think of it. So I acknowledge them on all our behalves, uh, their past and present, their elders and that's a good thing to do. So I'm Richard Brunoski, as I said, and, and um, uh, I want to briefly introduce you to the organisation. Affinity was formed by a group, group of young Muslim Australians in 2000, and their aim is to promote multiculturalism and foster intercultural and interfaith dialogue by building bridges between different groups in society. And I'll pause just now for, I think, a short uh, video clip we're going to hear. Over to the technicians. Australia is a warm, welcoming open country. Having respect for all people, regardless of race, regardless of religion, regardless of gender, and very, very importantly, regardless of a, the colour of a person's skin. People of all kinds are, are seeing the differences, I think, a little more clearly. For me, it's about returning to the lived experience that, that people have on on race and ensuring that we live up to the best of our traditions as a country. And the culture that they set will be the culture they inherit. To be able to share more information, whether it's intelligence or case management material, whatever it is, faster and better. In addition, the Department of Social Services is working closely with other departments like employment, education and training, human services and immigration and border protection on improving employment outcomes for humanitarian entrants. And this has got to be the largest number that we've had here. The night is about you and us uh, and as a community. Learning from each other, that's what Australia allows us to do. We are working together to make New South Wales safer. In fact, we have done that for many, many years. As we've come from so many other lands that we were able to meet here as one. We are the most culturally diverse country in the world. Uh, we all learn a little bit more about ourselves and about our community. Ramadan is that time of year that Muslims go deep. They reset the clock, 
take extra time to consciously reflect on their lives and reaffirm their commitment to God and to the precious bonds that connect us all as family and brothers and sisters in humanity. Courage, you know, dedication, you know, um, makes you a sense of, a sense of fairness. What we have seen and experienced by words and music this evening are the sort of things that hold us together and enable us to move forward together. Thank you for joining us today and I hope to see you again at our future events. Thank you so much. And thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Ahmed, for having me here. I'd now like to introduce our guest speaker, our, our facilitator rather, not our guest speaker, this, this lady down in front. She doesn't even have, have jet lag, although she's been in the air for about the last 21 hours. Not quite, 14 hours. Anyway, I'm going to introduce Noel Debien, or Debien, as the Australians call it. Noel came to the ABC's religious unit in 1996 and has worked across a range of programs, including ABC TV Hymns of Glory, Compass and ABC Radio Life, Matter, Radio Life Matters, among many others. He studied music in the music department of the University of Sydney and joined the choir of St Mary's Cathedral until his voice broke, I imagine. He began his theological studies in 1982 at St Columban's Seminary and then St Patrick's Manly. And on the completion of his bachelor's degree in sacred theology, and the Bachelor of Theology, he began teaching in secondary schools. He has wandered, wandered through India and Nepal, gone on safari in Africa, and had a look through Southeast Asia, which is, of course, the pattern that most young people do these days. And they don't just have a look at, they do more than that, and I'm sure Noel has too. Uh, he lectured in theology and literature at the Masaryk University in Brno, Brno? is that how you... Bruno, Bruno, that's right, in, in the Czech Republic, where he was also a member of the choir of the Bruno Conservato Conservatorium. Thank you. Thank you. I, I have a... Yes, I won't go on. After, return, <laughs> after returning to Australia, Noel began working with the ABC, moving across media platforms within the national broadcaster and having a marvellously interesting time doing it. He's been on the drum and he convenes the spirit of things on the ABC, a regular program. He has also kept a keen interest and involvement in community groups, which is something he and I and many people in this room have in common. So please join me in welcoming Noel to the rostrum. Noel.